Chair, because of the tax planning zoning committee to order on February the 2nd, 2021, at 9.32 a.m. Amanda, would you call the roll, please? chance to check over the claims. Is there a motion to approve the claims? Mr. Zumwalt? Second. Mrs. Dalton? Any discussion or questions? And to call the roll, please. Zumwalt? Yes. Copenhammer? Yes. Curtis? Yes. Awful? Yes. Bard? Yes. Are there any public comments? Okay. Reports from the departments. Mrs. Super. Who was calling me first? <laughs> That's all right, though. Ladies first. Uh, right, yes. Thank you. Okay, so early voting is going to begin at the end of the month for the uh, consolidated election. Uh, we have some polling places that are probably going to have to be changed again uh, due to COVID. Uh, there's a few, the Onarga and the Belmont two and three polling places that are probably going to have to stay in their original spot because we used the schools the last time and those are not open for elections this election. Uh, and then also the Ridgeland polling place um, is going to have to make a permanent move because it's currently in the, uh, the elementary school that's in Thawville and the superintendent is has concerns with having it in there. Uh, it's the only uh, polling place that we have at a school now. so. It'll be good to get it out of there uh, to avoid any issues. So I'm going to meet with uh, the township supervisor tomorrow to look at the Legion in Thawville, which I think will be a good place for it. So those notices will have to go out. Now, where will Belmont two and three go then? They're going to be in there the, at the Legion because I don't know where else we would be able to move them. Okay. So it'll just be a matter of people having to wait in line outside if there's a big long line. But the good thing about this election uh, from a COVID point of view is it's a an extremely low turnout, except there is a referendum on the ballot for Watsika schools. So that could cause a little bit more, but it still won't be anywhere near what it was at the general. So. Okay. Now this is looking down the road a ways, but how are we on all on the places that all the places that have to be approved for uh, handicap? Well, there's some that there is no building to move into that we can try and make them as compatible as we can. Um, one off the top of my head, I'm just trying to think, like the Larab polling place, which is Ashcombe Two. Uh, there's no other building in that area of Ashcom that would be able to be used. So uh, if we had to move from the church, which um, the church would be pretty easy to get handicap accessible, um, but if we have to move from there, then it would have to go into the village of Ashcom, which is quite a bit of a distance from where the Ashcom 2 polling place is at. Mr. Albers. 
Um, the only thing I have is uh, mobile home bills will be getting mailed out at the end of the month. So that'll be starting our tax cycle. That'll be the first ones that'll be going out will be mobile homes. And then once the state's done with everything else from Bob and Brian's office, then we'll you know, proceed with the with the general property taxes, but so that I don't anticipate that for a few more months. So. Okay, thank you. Mr. Yerkler. Um, as far as border review, um, we are processing, we're almost done processing candidate changes. So we'll be sending them notices out soon and then uh, set up final hearings for border review and get closed out for some final abstracts. Well, I'll send my stuff to the state then uh, inform Green to send final abstracts to the state. Um, uh, hopefully sooner rather than later. Um, if everything holds together. Um, uh, if you didn't know, uh, one of my staff people retired right last Friday. Um, she was my only person in the office who had did anything with Sony besides me. So I'm the sole person to answer any zoning questions or issues going forward at this time until um, hopefully get her, her replaced. Um, and uh, we will survive until then. So I haven't posted it yet. Don't know when I will. I'm making that decision um, as far as uh, um, we're trying to get books closed for 20 so we can get the tax cycle moving. That's my more priority than anything right now. So, um, and that's moving actually fairly well. So I hope nothing snags that up. So that's it for assessment. Um, um, zoning. Um, been a, actually, not too bad of a start to the year. Um, can see from the January building permit receipts. Now they won't jive with the building report permit sheet because they have two new houses that have that pay for their permits, but they have not gotten well and septic approval yet from the health department. So we haven't issued the permit yet. So they're not on the building permit list, but the building permit fees are part of that 3,000 that you see at the top. And they won't show on the building permit um, actual building permit issue sheet. Um, so other than that, um, did you want to talk about the wind stuff or I can talk about it. We've got I mean, uh, obviously John came to me yesterday, was concerned about this the wind towers have been paying their taxes. Uh, they have. Um, Ford County had a little bit of an issue, but I believe it's been resolved as of yesterday. So, um, but um, we were behind on maintenance reports from them. So I sent letters out to the two companies getting trying to update maintenance reports on them. They're supposed to supply them by ordinance one uh, a yearly report. One of the things you got to push and prod to get get the report from um, large energy companies. Yeah. So I sent a letter yesterday to all of them requesting 18, 19, and 20. Whether I get a response or not, we'll have to wait and see. Um, and then uh, also John asked me to check on the bonds. I need to email to get the line. I don't have a, a possession of those in my office. I don't even know where they're at. Jim, are they? Uh, <laughs> I feel like we recorded something a long time ago, but I think they got put maybe in a safe deposit box. Do we have a safe deposit box still? Yeah. It might be. So I'm going to email Jim today and ask him if he knows where he handed those bonds to and uh, what the maturity on those are, if they need to be updated, they need to be renewed. And uh, so uh, that's pretty much it. And as we sent uh, letters out to 
all my ZBA and building inspectors with the information that go online to do their sexual harassment training. Hopefully we'll get a better response this year than we did last year. Um, so, but we specifically sent letters to each individual one with the link and uh, and actually all I did was copy the letter that Bliss McKnight sent to me, Jill, with each individual name on the top. So we just, I just printed those off and we sent them to each individual. So um, get on them to get that done. And that's really all I have for zoning. I have a question, Bob. Is there more increased activity on the board or review in light of all the GIS system changes? Well, actually, I'm trying to keep those separate. Because okay. uh, um, there's been a lot of in, a lot of inquiries as far as the, the land use map. I've done a lot of editing, and the everybody, all the farmers will get a, a, another notification coming up. And uh, uh, when we send out notices for the tentative changes, I'll send out another notices for the land, you know, for farmland assessment. Some of the people will get basically the same exact notice again because they. If they're all farm ground, there was nothing that's going to change. But a lot of people had drainage dis districts, and there were some land use issues around the river that needed to be taken care of, entity wise and stuff. So um, those uh, two mailings, so that's quite a bit of postage for the prior mailing and this coming mailing. It's like thirteen thousand letters. I'm going to pay reimburse the postage fund out of the GIS fund since this is a GIS. Uh, uh, function because it's a land use map on the GIS system. So uh, um, I've already talked to Jill about that, how to do that, to reverse those two big mailings, the one we had in, um, in the late, early December, late November, early December, and we want to do this other one. So postage won't take a hit, so we'll reverse that. So um, And there's plenty of money in the GIS funding now, so that should be taken care of. So. But yeah, everybody will get a read notice again. A lot of inquiry on that. And as an overall board review, it's been down. Uh, as far as complaints this year, it's been way down, actually. Um, we had one, uh, John got the letter, one uh, requesting a large reduction. We are in the process of uh, board review is reviewing that. They're making a tentative decision. They will not comply with what the request is. So they'll We'll have to see what happens at final if they come in and you know, formally have a, a hearing or whatever. So, other than that, it's been pretty quiet. On that. So, you're looking for someone then to help with zoning, are you? Well, I'm going to, I mean, I lost, I mean, the person in my office retired. I, yeah. I need, I got dual fun, I mean, I got plenty of work to do what that person did for dual assessment and zoning. I want to cross train them and, and that, but the big thing is someone that, you know, from gone or whatever to answer some zoning that part and also deal directly with the building permit with the inspectors for their appointments and stuff when they go out and do their inspection. And then also, obviously, on the assessment side, um, splits. That person, was, Susan did the splits and stuff, worked with Bruce Harris on the mapping end of it. Um, so I'd like to do that, get that person in here. Um, and, uh, but like I said, I have no idea what I'm going to post to. Okay. Moving along, discussion of building permit enforcement fines and penalties. I talked to Jeff Meyer and he's all in favor of redoing that as part of the ordinance. I just haven't sat down with him at this point yet to get some more information for you. So well, I just will leave it on the agenda going forward. And I, I hope to get it with Jeff this coming month and sit down and start um, hammering out, you know, some solid stuff for, you know, stuff to look at as far as action goes and how to enforce it. Um, and, uh, and anything, you know, enforcement wise has to be approved by Jim Devine because sure. he's the enforcement officer. So. Um, but as of right now, I've talked to Jeff Meyer about it. He's all in favor of, of updating the, the ordinance and making getting more teeth into it. So we're moving in that direction, and that's the way all I have on that. 
Okay, so next month then you'll just, have yeah, we'll just to just sleep on there. It, it may be on there five or six or seven months before we get there. But we'll right, get there. bouncing it back and forth between the, this committee and the board. Yep. Resolution approving the sale of property acquired through the delinquent tax program. So Joseph Meyer and Associates has sold another parcel. Uh, it's within the city of Watsika. Um, they sold it at the um, minimum bid of $807. So the county will be receiving 357 with 57 of that going to the recording office for recording. But um, anyway, they just have a resolution to approve the sale and then they'll send a deed to have it recorded. Right. Is there a motion to approve the sale? That's a <coughs> second. Mr. Zumo. Can you call the roll, please? Zumo? Yes. Bokenauer? Yes. Curtis? Yes. Also? Yes. Bard? Yes. Is there any old business? Is there any new business? Is there a motion to adjourn the meeting? So moved. Open hour and a second. <coughs> All in favor? Aye. Four All the I took John to a nice word. I have a You said four counties.